In today's sewing tutorial, we're going to be looking at satin stitch. The items you will need are some fabric, some embroidery threads, a pair of scissors, a needle, and a needle threader. Again, you need to take your piece of fabric and a piece of embroidery thread. You need to split the embroidery thread as we're only going to be using three strands. So run your finger down the middle of the thread to separate it into two separate bits of three. Pop one, one bit to one side. With the piece we will thread up. So take your needle and a needle threader, pop the needle threader through the eye of the needle, pop the thread through the needle threader, pull, and there we go. That's your needle threaded. And on the other end of the thread, just pop a little knot. So taking your fabric going to come up with the needle from behind, coming through the fabric, and make a stitch. So pull the thread to one side and secure with your thumb. Go in from the front and come back up through right close next door to where the thread came through for that first stitch. Each of the stitches that we make in satin stitch are going to run tight, close next door to each other, butting up to each other. So we go back in from the front, down, pull the thread to one side, come back up with your needle as close as you can get to the last hole that you made, and pull the stitch. Don't pull too tight, but just keep smoothing over with your thumb. Thread to one side. We use satin stitch um, as a filler really for any designs that we've got on fabric so it, it can fill in any sort of small to medium spaces of designs because the threads are so so close together so it just makes like a, a, a block I suppose of, um, of threads together like a block of colour Almost makes like a, a little kind of cushion effect. Stitch. satin stitch. So I'll finish it off, so you pop your needle through to the back, pull it through and then just catch one of your threads, wrap the thread around the needle to make a little knot, pull and secure and then you can just snip that off with a pair of scissors. And now we've got a little block of satin stitch. do is I'll, I'll draw a little design onto the fabric. I'll actually draw a little leaf 
and then I'll show you how to infill the design using satin stitch. Just dot down the middle, centre line. So each side of that leaf we will fill in using satin stitch. So to fill in the design, we come in with the needle from underneath, coming from that centre line, and I'm going to go in to the outer edge of the leaf to make the first stitch. So, like before, going in close to the last stitch that you made, close as you can get, back up through the centre line to make these stitches and to get this leaf shape the stitches will increase in size as we go along so what, whatever your design is really it, your stitches can be long or, or short as an infill so it's a, a bit like colouring the lines really you've got your outline and colouring in is the, the satin stitch that's going in between. So keep coming through as close as you can get to the last stitch so that you've not got any gaps where the fabric shows through. It's more kind of concentrated thread. stitches working working your way up to longer stitches as the leaf gets wider and there we go about half done so that's that's half the leaf done so what I'll do once I've done that, I'll come on to the other side and I'll, I'll fill in that side so to give you an idea. So we, we start, I'll go down and then I'll come back up onto the, the edge of the leaf. So this time we're going to work from the edge of the leaf back to that centre line. So again, Making sure your stitches are close to one another so that they're put up. So the thread goes from the from the edge down down with the needle where the centre line is, back up through at the edge of the leaf. Each time increasing the size of the stitch to the width of the leaf. Smooth those over. Keep the thread to the side. So that gives you an idea of how to use satin stitch to create a leaf. There's one that I did earlier on the holly leaves, so you see you've got that central vein. Around the edge I use stem stitch to give a neat edge. Also use satin stitch when 
creating the berries. It is a really useful stitch for the infill of designs. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial looking at satin stitch and hope you'll join us again to learn a few more simple stitches that you can do at home.